body language is a really important behavior management tool. Not so much your own body language, which is really important and you need to be aware of it, but the body language of students and interpreting their body language, and of course in this will include facial expressions as well, to give you an idea of their mental state and to direct you in how best to position yourself in the classroom. For example, if people start to slouch down a little bit on their chair, they look like they could be watching TV on a Sunday morning, that probably means they're not in the best mental state to be working flat out or to be concentrating, thinking critically, memorising something and so forth. Um, and in those cases, you would use that information and say, okay, Johnny, feet flat on the floor, sit up properly. It's not Sunday morning, we're not watching cartoons. The other important thing with facial expressions is being able to, especially with students with disabilities and, and social and emotional um, issues that come with, for example, Asperger's and ASD, being able to predict and intervene early before problems arise if students are starting to get angry, if they're starting to get frustrated. Uh, body language, really important, get to know it. Understand that if students are crossing their arms, for example, they're starting to get a bit defensive or they don't believe what people are telling them, um, ask students, unfold your arms. Because if you're in a defensive mood, generally that's represented in your body language and vice versa. You can get students out of being in a defensive mood by reversing their body language. Okay, there's also lots of really good books on the market. There's some Australian um, authors and really popular books in Australia, for example, the Alan P series which are very simple, very straightforward um, and definitely will help your practice lots.